I grew up as a Christian. I have a Christian mom who always teaches to pray. She was always, when we was little, since I remember my little age, we go before bed, when we wake up, we pray, we read Bible, we go to church. Then when I go little bit teenagers and grow up and I start looking in the world, obviously friends and school, and I'm going out and sort of walk away, but I always believe and always have that. I know, I know I love God, but I was quite interested looking in the world, what to say. Yes, only when I was age seven, I have experience that we have a neighbor dog, he bites me and I lose sight of my eyes. Dogs have prepared me for operation, maybe three months. And when this was the operation set, my family came and doctor came out and said to my mom, I'm not God to heal your daughter. And when he said that to my mom, it touched her. She always been believing, teaching us, but she might maybe not have that enough faith that will get healed. She went to, back to church and uh, tell my pastor that's what doctor say. They start fasting and pray. Then afterwards, they came to our house and they start praying for, for me. They asked me, do you believe God going to heal you? I say, yes, I did. I do. And uh, I remember when Pastor laid hands on me and stuff, I felt like a warmth come from my body. And uh, when they finished praying, I opened my eyes and I see 100% my sign of my eyes back. That night, I went to sleep. In a dream, I went to heaven. I saw heaven, I saw gold roads, and I was smell, I was experienced that smell, beautiful, fresh. I would always describe as a nice, if nice apple, smell, you could smell nice apple. That's how I was describing smell in heaven. And I remember I walked to, for this road and it was building, angel appeared in front of me and gave me apple and told me, go tell people what i done for you. I wake up, I told my mom, I told my grandma, dream what I have, and they say, well, God did miracle for you, he healed your eyes, then you could tell people what God did for you, always remember that. That was my first experience at the age of seven. As we are human, sometimes we do quick decision make. I did lots of decision make, wasn't right. And I have a point in my life when I ask God, why that happened to me? Why is this? But God said to me, because I'm not giving to you. You choose that way. Of course, God always been with me all my life. Till this day, I'm here now. And sometimes consequences could be painful. I, I just want to say, in my life, I was married. Ah, I, I, I go for a divorce. I have a beautiful daughter. She's amazing gift of God. But people who go through divorce, sometimes people think they broke. They don't have hope, which is not true. God is amazing. He is just wait on him, wait patiently. Grace of God is amazing. You could come to Lord. God doesn't want look at you. What you're doing? Where you back from? Where you from? What your background? What your addiction? Or what sin you commit? God love you. God waiting for anybody to come to Him. He's amazing. He show me daily by daily meet my needs, help me, be help me to be strong, change me, transform me completely. For me, God is everything, everything. And I would say to any young person who listen to me, watch me, hear my testimony that seek God to get through this life and be happy.